Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Welcome to Daily Dose of Joy Farm Edition here at our family's farm for the next week of our big family gathering time with family that's come in from Colorado. And uh, I thought this was a fun image of my little puppy curled up on his bed. <laughs> Just a cozy, feels like a fireside chat. Ooh. Mm. And this morning, I thought we'd use the deeper truth tool. And I wanted to focus my attention uh, on easy effort. I just will share a little bit of reflection and then we'll go into the deeper truth. But I know that some of the habits of thought I developed when I had a brain injury were um, thoughts about struggling. It was um, instead of easy effort, because we want effort and challenge in life. But there's a difference between effort and struggle. And struggle is when we have that sense of overwhelm and almost helplessness and less power and almost hopelessness and, and a real emotional negativity attached to it, right? So it's not just effort but it's all those other things woven into our thoughts around the effort that kind of turns it into struggle. And so, although I've healed my brain injury, for the rest of my life, I will be expanding and growing and learning. And so, I joyfully see the, you know, the contrast and the wobbles as like, oh, that's an opportunity for me to see more clearly what I do want and how I want to grow. And I noticed that there's room for improvement in the way I think about certain efforts, like um, some aspects of parenting a teenager, right? Seeing it the other day, I said, yep, this is, this is work and I can do hard work. And this is a job I signed up for. I want to be a mom. And I want to be an involved advocating mom, you know, and, uh, and it really changed the, my point of focus into more of an easy effort as opposed to a struggling, oh, the system's so hard, schools and oh, oh mm, kind of negative, um, that was more of a struggling to get him the support he needs and, uh, yeah, I hope this makes sense. This kind of distinction between easy effort, challenge, and struggle. And so I know that to change those neural pathways and those patterns of thought, one of my favorite tools to use, and one of the reasons I innovated it, was the deeper truth tool. A time for me to, with intention, practice the positive thoughts the thoughts that I want to think, the pathways in my brain, I want to become the well-worn pathways, the default pathways. So I thought that's what the theme that I'd do a deeper truth on this morning, on easy effort and releasing struggle. So we'll spend the next five minutes making positive declarative statements and a loving nurturing voice to ourselves and between the statements, we'll breathe in and make it somatic, meaning feel it in our body, feel the effects of those positive statements. And if you don't feel it or it feels hard to feel it in your body, that's okay. Another option is, is to modify the statement so that it feels like it meets you where you are. Sometimes I'll say things like, may I, or, I like the idea of, or um, yeah, something that qualifies it as opposed to being extremely declarative. If that's not feeling resonant in the moment, that's fine. We meet ourselves where we are. 
and then just incrementally move the needle up. Okay, here we go. Mm. May I release thoughts of struggle. May I soften into trust. vibration of the universe. May I have clarity where previously it was murky. May I prioritize feeling ease and trusting that's where I'll find clarity. May I know that I will be guided to the next right step. My emotions guide me to the truth. Discomfort. I know that's an indication that my thoughts are not aligning with my true self and clarity. moments 
with the distressing thoughts. Pause and let go of the struggle. Hmm. May I stop drilling down into the specifics arguing for my limitations, arguing that it is a struggle. <laughs> when old thought patterns Tension, arguments, and struggle come up. May I feel the nourishing, quenching flow of peace. soften my thoughts and go general. May I remember How fortunate my life is. Mm. May I bask? In appreciation for the hemlock trees for babies deepening wisdom for eyes that see felt so good. Mm. Mm. Let's take three celebratory solidarity breaths, acknowledging that every time we pause with this positive point of focus that our microdosing tools help us focus on, that we are increasing our capacity for joy.
May today. Surprise. And delight us. May we look for the good. May we have easy effort. And I look forward to this time. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.